Hello to you, fellow human. Infinite Spiral here, and today we are rebooting our Kerbal Space Program series. So, I know in uh, yesterday's episode I said that I would be catching back up to where I was in previous recordings before starting in 1.0, but I decided to go a different route because they made a bunch of changes. First of all, you'll notice here we've got Val Kerman, who is the you know, embodiment of the addition of female Kerbonauts. So, we shall start a new game. Infinite Reboot! And we're gonna make a change to it right off the bat. Previously, we didn't really, we just glossed over the difficulties. And so this time, I am going to actually, I, I, I did check them out beforehand, so we're gonna be playing on kind of a hybrid between normal and moderate. So we're going to keep all of the sliders where they are on normal mode at 100% and starting funds and all that stuff, but we're going to turn off the missing crews respawn. I didn't realize that was an option. I just assumed, you know, maybe it was a change they implemented, but no, it's something you have to choose. And we're also going to turn on entry purchases on research. So when we research new technology and we unlock new parts, we actually have to go and purchase those parts in order to use them. And we've added a custom flag because, you know, why wouldn't we? Come on. Let's get this bitch going. I'm not going to read all this stuff again. <laughs> if you want to listen to me reading stuff out loud, go ahead and start back at episode one. So I, I'm pretty confident that we're going to make a lot more progress a lot faster now because we're more familiar with how things work. But they, they made a bunch of changes to this. This is one of the changes. These uh, records, altitude, distance, and speed. These auto-update as you complete them to get higher and higher records, and they have a decent payout. And it seems like they actually did away with all of the uh, equipment testing, because, I don't know, I, I did a tiny bit of playtesting and I didn't see any of those showing up. Maybe it just happens later on down the road, but let's just get right into it. Hello, Werner. So, we start with our command pod, of course. Rotate the yield. And we only get this one little brand new half size, well, one third size solid fuel booster to start off with called the Flea. And we're, I'm actually not going to put it on. That was a mistake. But yeah, the starting parts are different. You actually start with uh, science pods now. You don't have to, excuse me, mystery goo containment units. <laughs> but yeah, you don't have to unlock those as you go through. The The whole science tree has changed entirely. So we're just going to launch this thing as is. <laughs> and that should complete at least one of the contracts. We're just going to get some science right here on the launch pad. Three science there. Keep that. Get a crew report. 1.5 for that. Get an EVA. Yeah, there's uh, camera shaking effects now for certain things. Oh, Jeb was the default, of course. I was about to spin it around and show you a Val, but nope, not going to happen on this particular mission. So, it was... oh, and that's another thing. Uh, I pressed F because that used to be the default climb in button, but they've changed that so now you can clamber up to things and just let go. So now if I hit F when I'm up at the top here, he should climb up top. Yeah, see? It's a... New feature, very nice. So now you don't have to, you know, sort of be finicky with uh, your controls and trying to get in on top of things and good stuff like that. So, right off the bat, we've got 20 science. Absolutely well worth it. So, this is now what the science tech tree looks like. And, you know, it, it doesn't hide it from you anymore. You get to see and plan ahead for what you're going to you know, purchase, and it's, man, kind of daunting just looking at all of it, you know, I mean, the stuff at the end costs a thousand research points, and yeah, and it, it, even in all of the uh, earlier steps, like I said, all of the parts got rearranged, so that's part of why I'm, I'm actually rebooting this. I know I said that I was going to be, you know, catching back up to where I was, but because of these changes, I would really oh, cancel we'll just buy all of them because we have lots of funds just from completing that one contract so do that get those parts researched and we've got 10 points left if i can't afford any of these yes 15 18 and 20. 
So, right off the bat, without launching anything, we have unlocked a decent amount of parts. And that's part of why I'm confident that we'll make much faster progress as well. So let's scrap that, throw that in. Start getting crazy with our designs. Not really. We'll get crazy later. First official craft called the Jerk, because it's basically junk, and you know ours make things different or some such. Uh, okay, well let us crew you with Val instead of Jeb. Yes, so Valentina Kerman is, you know, the the fourth uh, default character that you've now got access to, and she's basically the female version of Jeb. She has the bad s trait as it's called also known as the badass trait basically it negates their uh their fear <laughs> so regardless of how you know courageous or stupid they happen to be they just never basically get afraid and that's why jeb always seems so happy but let us go ahead and launch this vessel and break some records we're definitely not going to achieve orbit, so I'm not going to worry about that. But that's another addition, the ground scattering particle effects. Very nice. Beautiful. Oh, yes. And the aerodynamic system has changed entirely. You can now uh, break the sound barrier. There are mock effects, and... E... Uh, when you disengage things, when you detach, the aerodynamics act considerably differently. See, right now, we're getting all turned about like that. That's not intentional, it just kind of happens now. You start to tumble when you try to make your first uh, turn. At least that's been my experience so far. Maybe it's not always like that, but yeah, now we've got atmospheric shaking. It's nifty. <laughs> and that was the end of that fuel. So... Yeah, look at look at all these things that we've already achieved. <laughs> Wonderful. And that'll have a just a massive payout when we get to the rewards here. So you six grand, two point eight, twenty-five grand for the altitude, eighteen, nineteen, yeah. Just money, 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 money. That is a really nice addition. It makes it much more accessible in the early game. So you can progress much faster. But while we're up here, let's go ahead and grab some science. Materials Bay, the rarefied air has caused interesting changes in gel samples. It seems like something is happening with the interior structure. 22.5 science. Beautiful. Just from upper atmosphere. Go ahead and grab a crew report. 4.5 science. Mystery goo. It's getting very cold now. 9 science from that. Beautiful. And we will reserve the other mystery goo for when we land in the water. As will inevitably happen. I would do an EVA if I was able to, but I am not. So this is another new addition. Um, I mean, IVAs were possible before, but the interiors of all of the, the different parts weren't finalized. Now every part that is crewable now has a finished interior. So now we are inside the cockpit, the crewable capsule. And this is what stuff looks like. I'm pretty sure... I don't know if this... Can, can I grab stuff? No. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can actually control stuff in here, too. So that should be interesting to play with later on, I should think. What do these do? Nothing at all. They don't even move. Okay. Well, that's fun. What about these? Can I do anything? No, doesn't look like it. Anyway, let's get back out of here. Um, tab? No. <laughs> C for camera? Yes, that did it. Oh, look how happy she is. Wonderful. 
So what's our trajectory looking like? We are coming down over in the middle of the ocean, as expected. So let's get down. And another new addition is re-entry heat. Um, you know, this was something that always happened before, but now it has a much more uh, realistic and uh, j just terrifying possibility of absolutely destroying your rocket as it re-enters. All of the parts have uh, heat, heat capacities, basically, and if they get too hot, it just blows up. <laughs> and... I don't know if it blows up one part at a time or if it just starts a cascade that ends up blowing everything up. This happened to me once in my testing and the whole thing just went up, but I was also in time warp at the time, so that might have been why. I'm not totally certain about that, but I really like these new aerodynamics, the uh, the air effects, it's just, it's pretty and it's unique and parachutes, <laughs> parachutes are good to have engaged. So yeah, we're definitely going to going to be losing all of this stuff down here. Hopefully the science lab doesn't break. Yeah, there's always a chance that it will, but we can try and tilt as we get down to the water. We'll make our best attempt at it. Like so. Swing back and forth. Come on. Swing and touch down. And okay, we lost it. Oh well. So that's a bunch of science that we didn't get like 20 something but that's okay no big deal so now the goo escapes into the water no my precious goo for science let us do an eva and what happens if we take it right here flying over kerbin's water well we'll take that one because it's a lot easier to be in the water than to be flying above it with an eva report at least so boarding and recovering all right, 39 science, and yeah, just look at those funds. Look how much money we've got now just from fucking breaking a bunch of records. Absolutely ridiculous. Yes, 75 grand for the 100 kilometer distance record. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. So let us accept these new contracts. And it's really nice that those contracts aren't all cluttered up with all the part parts testing now, because that kind of bothered me a little bit. So, just in case this has already taken up like 15 minutes, which it probably has, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. I look forward to playing further into Kerbal Space Program 1.0. This is fucking fantastic. I love this game so much, and I chose a weird time to start my prior series, the, uh, the 0 0.90 beta series. I had no idea that 1.0 was coming so soon. I probably should have planned a bit better for that, but it's okay, because here we are playing it. So, I'm Infinite Spiral, this is Kerbal Space Program 1.0. If you enjoyed what you saw here, go ahead and leave a like. If you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.